to a developing story we've been following this morning. Furloughs take effect at airports across the country today. Airports in our area will be among the most affected in the nation. CBS 2's Janelle Burrell joins us live from LaGuardia with more. Good morning, Janelle. Good morning, Dick. And most people who are traveling by air want to spend as little time in the airport as possible. So this isn't the best news. These furloughs could mean major cancellations and delays were told for about one in three passengers nationwide. And it's all because of these budget cuts by Congress. If you're traveling from any of New York's major airports, you better be prepared to wait. Furloughs for FAA employees are set to take effect today, and the result could mean delays when you fly. I can't imagine it getting any more delayed at LaGuardia. Just a, an, an incredibly difficult airport because of the congestion. But according to airline industry officials, that congestion will soon be getting worse. It's all because of a $637 million budget reduction to the FAA, part of the across-the-board cuts approved by Congress. About 50,000 FAA employees, including 15,000 air traffic controllers, are being forced to take a furlough day every other week until the end of September. The result, airports won't be able to handle their regular amount of plane traffic. Two airline trade associations and the country's largest pilots union have filed a lawsuit arguing that cuts could be made elsewhere. But the earliest any action will take place is later in the week. In the meantime, passengers traveling at the nation's largest airports are being advised to allot extra time. It's annoying, but um, if, it, if it helps to force the Congress to reach some hard decisions, that is a good thing. Now, with these furloughs, the maximum anticipated wait time here at LaGuardia is just about an hour and a half. But in cities like Atlanta, they say it could be as much as a three-hour wait. So far, the FAA has not commented on that pending lawsuit. We're live at LaGuardia this morning. Janelle Burrell, CBS2 News. Janelle, thank you.